Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. We are on the hunt for our third Colossus. It is apparently at some sort of canopy reaching up to the sky. And it is a, uh, a giant who can shatter the earth. Yeah. All of which sounds like fun things. Uh, and if I recall correctly from last time, yeah, he's up north-ish somewhere. That. Um, so if we look at our map here, if you can make out anything that's going on with these fantastically high-definition PS2 graphics. Um, we can shoot to the left. There's a bridge of some sort that looks like it'll go over into this area. Uh, and then we can go up north. And if we go north, um, you'll see that new face from the creature we fought last time. The Bull Colossus, or whatever that might be. The Taurus Demon, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I think if we go up here... Is that kind of where we're pointed? I mean, it feels like we need to go more north than we do west. So we'll just kind of explore a bit yeah. and hope we stumble across it. Also, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled kind of off to the right because I believe that might be it over there. Um, usually where you fell the Colossi. Oh, there it is, right there. Um, there kind of crumbling, ruined husk remains behind. Yeah. And I believe that there's like a, a rem remembrance or reminiscence, and I missed our turn because I'm an idiot. Um, some sort of like remembrance yeah. mode yeah. where you can uh, go up to their corpse and fight them again. Oh, come on, aggro. This way, please. Yeah. So, that's neat. You can refight bosses once you've defeated them. Okay, so this seems better. We need to kind of go that way. Yeah. Wonder yeah. Yeah. If this over here will be something useful for us. I love the scenery of this area. Okay, yeah, this looks promising. Oh, hang on. Okay, so... Right... There. Kind of maybe tough to make out. Uh, there's a lizard. Um, that's just a regular boring lizard. Not gonna do anything for us. But there are some lizards, and I'll discuss them... We'll know them when we see them. Uh, but there are some lizards that will actually give us a stamina boost. So, the fruit tree, if you yeah. remember from the very first episode, yeah. <clears throat> um, that fruit will boost our... Yeah, and there's tons of lizards all over the place in here. That fruit will boost our maximum HP by just a tiny, tiny amount. Yeah. Uh, the lizards will boost our stamina by a tiny amount. So those are the only real two RPG-ish elements in the game that'll let us progress. Um, other than that, I think we grow stronger as we defeat the Colossi. Just a little bit. Cool. So that looks like our canopy reaching up to the sky. Alright, aggro, I don't think you can swim, so you can hang out here. Um, we will hopefully meet you triumphantly back at the temple. I like this foggy lake. It's all shadowy and whatnot. The, the light and the shadow in this game. You know, no, like, dynamic lighting or anything like you see nowadays, but, uh... Really nice ambiance, really nice atmosphere in these areas of the game. This world is something that they did a really good job of building. Um, swimming controls. I don't think it actually drains our stamina to swim, but I think... Aha! There is a go underwater button, and that will drain our stamina quite rapidly. 
And I think that's because we're expending energy swimming, and also I think it's because we're holding our breath underwater. So, that's kind of nasty. Luckily, there's no real reason for us to need to go underwater here. I'm assuming our earth-shattering giant is at the top of this thing here. Alright, platforming, that's always good. Let's take a look over there. Yeah, that's, uh... That looks like a colossus up there, maybe. Or the... ruins of one. Alright. Let's see if I can not screw up this jump. Uh, okay. And I believe... Okay, so the platforming is weird because it's like tank controls. So I have to hold down on the analog stick to jump away from whatever he's clinging to. Not, it's not relative to the camera, it's relative to the character. Good to know. Also, okay, good. Yeah, thank you, cinematic camera angle. That's actually really badass. The, uh, the temple in the background. Also, those pillars of light, I think those might be from the other two colossi that we already defeated. Because I don't think there are any other ones around here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and maybe see if there are more pillars of light at, as we defeat more of these things. Like I said, light and dark uh, really heavily tie into the theme of this whole game. Okay, yeah, you're the colossus. That's what I thought. This is one of the few that I have some sort of uh, remembrance of, however vague it may be. Okay. So the thing I remember about you is your one crazy attack. This. Because I remember... We can... Hmm. Alright, hang on. Um, also, we should probably figure out where your weak points are. Oops, it looks like there might be one on, like, its torso, like on its belly or something. I'm assuming there's one also, yeah, like right there. Yeah, right there. Ah, cool, and it appeared when we hit it with the sword, or when we uh, shine the light on it with the sword. All right, I'm assuming you also have one up on your head. That's a pretty common thing. Um, let's see. Its armor here is suffering from what I call the Scooby-Doo effect where this one piece right here looks particularly different. Also, can we climb you? How do we climb you? Can I jump over onto your leg? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. No, because it doesn't look like I'd be able to climb up onto your body from there. Sorry about that. Camera angle's a little bit wonky here. He's looking at us. He knows that we're here. Hello. Um... I'm gonna go for it here. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to climb up to your... Uh... Body, at least not from here. That didn't work. Okay, you know what? 
Yeah, little, like, craters in the ground from his footsteps. That's really cool. Okay, so what else do we have available to us? I don't think any arrows are going to do anything. You're just going to run over here and try to smack us with your sword arm thing. <coughs> or not. What's this? Is this important? Oh, you did a stab. That's new. Can we interact with this in any way? Oh. Oh, you missed it by just like a couple feet. That thing looks kind of like a bullseye, so I think I'm going to try to get him to hit it. I remember needing to interact with that in some way. I think. Uh oh. What if we stand here? Smack this with your, uh, your sword arm thing. Look, we're right here. Looks like we knocked a bunch of his armor loose. Okay, good, I was right. Now we gotta get back up on him though, I believe. Running like this is dangerous. I don't wanna accidentally run off the ledge. Oh, don't hit that thing again, please. Okay, good. Cool. And, uh... And uh, hang on here as much as we can. Cool, so now we can climb his arm. Okay, so there's... We know that there's one over on his belly. I didn't see for sure if there was one up on his head. Um, I'm willing to bet that yes, there is. Oh, you know what? It looks like maybe we can also stand on your armor over here. Oh, camera. Camera? What are you doing, camera? We're gonna rest here and we're gonna recover for a moment. Squat to recover. All right, can we? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Knock it off, please. Find ourselves in not the best of situations. All right. Let's see if we can get up onto, like, his shoulders or something. Or all the way up onto his head. Going straight for the head, though, is kind of risky, as I've mentioned, just because they like to try to shake you off. Which it seems he's doing now, maybe? No? Does he still think that we're on his little sword arm? Yeah, okay, so there's one up on his head. Cool. Uh oh. Oh, he's not happy about us being up here. Okay, need to recover. Oh no. Oh, well. Okay. Looks like we're going for this one now. Or was it? It was on his front, right? On his belly? Here we go. Yeah, this seems like it'll be a lot easier to deal with. And then squat to recover. more stabs. I think we're gonna have to go up and finish off the one that's up on his head. 
Climb, what are you doing? Climb back it, onto the glyph, please. Where are you going? Climb. All right, just give him a moment, let him shimmy. The key to this game is patience. You really gotta be patient with everything you do. You're generally not gonna be able to just kind of blitz a lot of these enemies. That would have been awesome. All right, time to squat for power again. Do his little dance. Nope, why are you climbing so high? Not do that. Please. Okay, so that one's done. So now we're gonna have to get back up onto his head, which means I think I need to jump over to his arm again. Yeah, I don't think we can climb the armor that he has on his torso here. There we go. That actually was not anywhere near as bad as I was expecting it to be. Um, though we still gotta actually climb. is no good. I should probably put away my sword before I try to do this. Alright, we're going for the elbow armor over here. If we can make it. Okay. Um, sword we'll put away for now. I think that'll help us climb a bit better. I believe that is the case. Oh no. Okay, good. Um, I think it will help us hold on and maybe use a bit less stamina when he's kind of flailing about. I think that's kind of uh, the benefit of not having something in the other hand. Makes sense, right? You, you can use both hands to hold on to his furriness and you don't actually need to hold your weapon. Although we do need the weapon now because we gotta poke him in the face a few more times. <laughs> So you can get a few of these really quick stabs in. Man, he's almost done. There we go. Phew! That was, uh... About to run out of stamina and let go of him again.
of guiding graves and it is giant indeed fearful it is not so does that mean it's going to be larger than the last one that we just beat hmm. i don't know anyway thank you all for joining me and i will see you next time